Cassie here. How is your holiday season going? We are almost at Christmas Day and welcome to your holiday cocktail dress chill out workout. So I don't know about you, but I've been invited and going to a lot of holiday parties and to be honest, they're really stressful. You gotta get ready, you gotta put your makeup on, then afterwards you're eating and oh, it's just so insane. So I thought it'd be a perfect time to show you how to chill out relax and release tension before or after you attend a holiday party. And because this is our last cocktail dress routine in this series, it is our last giveaway, and this is what you can win, guys. You can win a cute tank top, a hoodie, and really cute booty shorts to get you motivated and ready for 2014. So all I want you to do is roll out your mat, let's chill out. All right, guys, I want you to go ahead and roll those shoulders back, big circles, Today's purpose is to release and relax, okay? So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, pretend you're massaging yourself, and beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and start out with those hips and the glutes. So what I want you to do is to go ahead and place your right ankle on top of your left hip. Now, if you're flexible, go ahead and bring it all the way up. If not so much, you can go ahead and place it a little bit lower close to the knee, all right? And then I want you to go ahead and lean forward, lean. Lean, lean. If you can touch the mat, whoa, good. Go ahead and stay right there, really stretching out the hamstring, really feeling it, beautiful, holding on to that foot. Now go ahead and let go both hands in front. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale and exhale. Holding on to the foot again. Go ahead and lift yourself up and bring that foot down. Let's go ahead and repeat on the other side, okay? So, left ankle on top of that right knee or on top of the hip if you're feeling flexible today. Let's go ahead and slowly tighten that core and lean forward. Lean, lean, good. Touching onto the floor, holding, inhale, and exhale. Good, stretching the hamstring, feeling the hamstring. Flatten that back and go ahead and bring both hands down. Eyes forward towards the toes, inhale, and exhale. Go ahead and grab onto the foot and bring yourself back up. Beautiful work. All right, let's go ahead and get that back and we're gonna stretch out, walking the hands forward all the way right here. I want you to press up, flatten that back, heels into the mat, looking at the toes. Now go ahead and run it out a little bit. We're gonna stretch out your calves, inhale, Walk, 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 and hold it there. Good stretch, really pressing the heel down into the mat. And switch. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Pressing that back down, and coming all the way up right here, tucking those toes, the top of your feet, right onto the mat, pressing the pelvis down, lifting the heart center towards the ceiling, relax, and press the quads finally down on the mat, relax, and roll the head in one direction, and the other direction. Very, very good, okay. Now, I want you to go ahead and thread the needle, but this time when we thread the needle, really keep your butt up, okay? This way, you're really gonna feel the upper back here. And I want you to twist, twist, twist. The shoulder is open, inhale, and exhale. Just stay right there. Should feel really good on that upper back. Just really open it up. Beautiful. How are you feeling, guys? Good? Nice, go ahead and press yourself up. And go ahead and do the other side. And open it out. Arms forward. Really reach, pressing that shoulder into the mat. Beautiful, go ahead and pick yourself up. Now, let's get those thighs and that groin. I want you to go ahead and bring that leg forward and sit into it. Make sure those hips are sinking in, they're square forward. Okay, you're really feel a nice stretch right here. And just stay. Now, bring your chest long, and straight and bend it forward. Hands forward right there. Tucking the toes under, lifting up, okay? Now, press down and up. 
press down and up. Really getting that beautiful stretch here. Feeling it, feeling it. Great job, guys. A little bit more. And one more. Lift and bring that knee down, toes down, and stretch back. Okay, now we're really going to feel right here, pressing the chest down, down, down into the knees, into the quad. Inhale and exhale. Good job. Stay. Just hold it right there. Release, relax. I know it hurts, but you're just going to move through. You're going to challenge your body. Bring yourself where you want to be. Let's get there. Excellent work. And then come forward again. This time, go ahead and open the sole of your foot. All right. Both hands right here. Pressing that knee out. Okay, we're really going to open up the hip here. Press, press, open. Ah, there it is. If you're feeling tight, this is an excellent way to really open that all up. Inhale and exhale. If you're feeling flexible, go ahead and bring it down onto the elbows. Woo! Hold it. Good stuff. Breathe. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And bring it up. Wowza! Okay, let's go ahead and repeat that on the other side. And lift up. Woo! All right, let's go ahead and repeat that sequence on the other side. Go ahead and bring that leg in front of you. Lengthen that back leg, really feeling that groin stretch, feeling the inner thigh stretch. Inhale the nose, exhale, and go ahead and curl the toes under, lift that knee up. Beautiful, hold it. You guys look awesome. Bring that knee down and lift, lower and lift. Let's go ahead and stretch away all your worries. Let's just do this. Focus on your body right now. Focus on you. This is your time. This is our time. Okay, a little bit more. Give me three and two. That feels good, right? And one, hold it. And go ahead and place that knee down, top of the foot down, and press that heel into the mat. Lean back. Yeah. That's called your hamstring, guys. Go ahead and press, press, press. Flatten that back out. Inhale. Exhale, melt the chest into the quad, into the knee. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I know it hurts. But you're just going to sit right there and accept it, okay? Because it's good for you. A little bit more. And three, two, lift up. Now open the sole of your foot knee out to the side, feeling that hip flexor really open up. We tend to get really tight there. Oh, it's got a little popper. All right, hold, hold, hold. Inhale, exhale. Now don't resist the knee. Let it come out if it wants to, okay? Let it come out and play. Now, if you're feeling super flexible today, down on your elbows. Now, don't worry if you can't do it on both sides. You are not born symmetric, so sometimes one side is stronger than the other, and we just gotta work it, okay? but I do want you to push yourself, okay? Push yourself to your limits, right? Not to your breaking point, but just to your limits so that you get stronger each time. Hold it, inhale, exhale. Once more, inhale, release, exhale, press more, and bring it up. Beautiful work. Go ahead and slowly take that leg behind you, okay? Now we're gonna get a little bit of that back and the quad, so. I want you to bring those hands open, okay? Shoulders release. I want you to lean back. Now, if this is all you can do, that's absolutely fine. But what I want you to train you to do is go ahead and hold onto the ankle. Grab it, grab it. Yep, hold onto the other side. Now go ahead and open up that back. Open up the chest. Feeling it right there in the quad and in the back releasing all that negative energy. Just let go. Inhale. Exhale. Lean back more. And bring yourself up. Now this next move may be difficult for those of you who have tight quads, but if you have tight quads, all I want you to do is to sit back right here, okay? But if you're feeling like you can push yourself, what I want you to do is to sit back and also bring your back back. So, legs to the outside, 
Hold yourself slow, 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 and all the way down. And I just want you to lay right there, really feeling the legs here. Just relax the body, you're laying down, beautiful. Inhale through the nose, exhale. This is your final move, so I just really want you to lay here, okay? Just chill, just chill. You don't have to sweat, you don't have to feel like you're dying, no. You just gotta really caress the soul here, okay? So really just make yourself feel good, release everything. Inhale through the nose, maybe close your eyes, exhale through the mouth, all the way from the belly, through the chest, through the throat, out. One more time, inhale, exhale, grabbing onto the legs, pushing off the elbow, and slowly get up again. Both hands in front, tucking the toes under, lifting yourself up into that down dog. Inhale and exhale. Very, very nice. Walking the hands towards the toes. Just really hang out right there. Legs are hip width apart. Good. Press the booty back so you're really feeling it all right here. Hang out and slowly lift up with control so that the head doesn't go crazy, you don't get into a head rush. Ah, and rolling those shoulders back. Finally, both legs out right here and reach it over, feeling the obliques. Good. And up onto the other side, feeling the obliques there. And bring it all the way up and bring it together. All right guys, that was your holiday chill out routine. I hope you really got to release and relax. All right guys, now let's talk all things holiday and all things giveaway. But before we start, I wanna show you my dress because I hardly ever get dressed up. Check it out. I was so in love with this dress when I found it because these zippers, but they actually unzip the whole way. I don't know what the point is of that, but it's so fashionable and I thought, I would just have to share, you know. Being a girl is fun. You get to wear things that don't make any sense, but you look really good. Anyway, these are the items that I will be giving away today. You've got the happy, healthy, and strong shirt. Now this is super cute, um, very empowering, really good message here because when you work out, you've got to know what you're working out for. And then this one has been a really popular item in the Shop Blog Lottie store. Train insane or remain the same, a slim fit hoodie. It is so cute and so fitting to keep you cozy. And finally, these keep going booty shorts are so cute. Not only will they make you look so hot, but also to motivate the person who's running behind you to keep going. That was kind of the message behind these shorts. So guys, all you have to do is leave a comment below, as many as you want, about whatever you want, but hopefully about how much you like this workout. And this contest is open to everybody, any age, all over the world. So best of luck, have a happy, happy holiday, and really spend the time with your family, your friends, and get fit and inspired with everyone around you. Bye.